Hi, I'm Ben Bruckner, Product Manager with Gotham, and today I'd like to talk about how to present Mayo to a specifier. At first glance, you can see that Mayo is available in one, two, or three heads, and so you might conclude that it's a multiple. But Mayo is capable of so much more than any other fixture on the market that if Mayo is a multiple, then it really redefines what it means to be a multiple. Traditionally, multiples are essentially track heads that are thrown into a box and tossed up into the ceiling. But Mayo is a linear downlighting system that allows lighting designers to achieve multiple layers of light from one minimalist fixture. One of the most remarkable things about Mayo is its scale. You can see here that the three head fixture is less than 10 inches long. And with an aperture of only one and a half inches wide, it can really disappear into the ceiling. The heart of Mayo is built from the Encito 2 inch adjustable. So if you like Encito, you're going to love Mayo. Just like Encito 2 inch, each of the Mayo heads is available on 500, 750, 1000, or 1500 lumens. And each of the heads is also available with the same precision optics as Encito 2 inch, which means 15 to 45 degrees in 5 degree increments, plus four elliptical distributions that can easily be swapped in the field. So think about that. This small three head fixture can output up to 4500 lumens at a 15 degree distribution. So you can probably already see that Mayo can go places you would never consider putting a traditional multiple. High ceiling applications like hospitality, education, lobbies, conference rooms, etc. can all be lit and even transformed with Mayo. What's more, you can get ambient illumination, task lighting, and accent lighting all from one minimalist fixture. To enable that, each of these heads can be tilted up to 40 degrees and then rotated a full 365 degrees, it's more than one full rotation, without collisions or dead spots. This is enabled by a patent pending heatsink design that allows adjacent heads to tilt all the way to their maximum angle and then rotate past each other without touching. And each head can also be independently configured for lumen package, color temperature, and optical distribution. Mayo also has internal baffles which come in 11 different standard finishes, both painted colors and metalized, allowing Mayo to match the aesthetic of a space or even act as an accent piece. In addition to the baffles, Mayo has a selection of trims. The trims come in either black or white standard, and there are two different styles available. This slot trim represents a sleek, flat, linear shape that creates the most minimalist look in the ceiling. We also have a beveled trim. The luminous aperture is the same between both options, but the inside edge of the beveled trim is angled uh, to minimize beam clipping as much as possible, especially when the heads are aimed at high angles. The beveled trim is also available in a flangeless version which ships with a mud ring that allows it to be seamlessly installed into drywall applications. Now I'd like to address a question that comes up occasionally, which is why the trims aren't made out of metal. The assumption is usually that this is because of cost, but I can assure you that this is absolutely not the case. In order for Mayo to really disappear into the ceiling, the trim must be as small and as thin as possible. Our engineers looked at all the different material options available and decided to use an injection molded high performance polycarbonate, not because of cost, but because it was the only material that would give us the performance we wanted. Mayo is a compact, precise fixture and the trims have complex and intricate features that are just not feasible with metal. I mean, look at these crisp, tight corners and this very short return. If these were made with metal, they would have to be both thicker and wider, and that would just be a real shame. But it's not just the trims that were created with lighting designers in mind. Maya also has a variety of optical accessories, such as a wall wash kicker, a snoot, a hexel louver, and a textured diffusing lens that can be easily installed in the field. Going one step even further, Mayo can be configured with an Encito 2 inch cylinder pendant in place of one of the heads. And of course the Encito 2 inch cylinder is itself available in a wide variety of paint colors, allowing the designers to add layers of light and accent all from one fixture. There are obviously a multitude of configurations that can be created with Mayo, which is why we have more than just one way of ordering it. The simplest method is to use the uniform configuration spec sheet, where all the heads are the same lumen package, color temperature, and optical distribution. The uniform spec sheet is as simple as any typical light fixture. However, to take advantage of the configurability of Mayo, you'd want to use the configurable spec sheet, which is more comprehensive in that you can call out each head specifically. So for a three head fixture, you would specify the lumen package, the color temperature, and the optical distribution for the A head, then the B head, then the C head, and build up a longer nomenclature line. And if you'd like to order a Mayo with a pendant cylinder option, then we have the configurable cylinder spec sheets just for that. Now it's important to understand that the configuration of Mayo only refers to how the fixture is ordered. It has nothing to do with how the fixture is controlled or dimmed. Mayo is always capable of individual head control, regardless of whether it was ordered as a uniform configuration or not. It can be dimmed with 0 to 10 volts 
or phase cut, either forward or reverse phase. And you can also control Mayo with end light by using a dimming power pack. But each of the heads can always be controlled independently, or if you like, they can be ganged together by the installer. This combination of scale, performance, and configurability sets Mayo apart and redefines the concept of a multiple. Now lighting designers have a highly versatile tool that gives them multiple layers of light from one fixture that can go into virtually any application. Thanks for tuning in, and make sure to check out more Mayo videos, literature, and other information at GothamLighting.com.